hello guys welcome back in this video let's learn normal constraint in Maya software before starting the video answer the following question in the comment section so constraints are mainly used in animation rigging and FX so it's it's basically used to uh, control one object with the other one so normal constraint can be seen in the rigging section and you should able to see here normal constraint so normal is not the normal what we generally normally talk normal constraint is something related to the face normals so if you go to the display polygons and enable face normals here you should able to see some green lines there this green line is a imaginary perpendicular line for every polygonal plane and this normals define shading and also helps in a lot of other uh, face related uh, things in terms of transformations and rendering is concerned so this is uh, I mean you don't need to select those normals and enable these normals it's just for you to understand so for every polygon face there is a normal which is 90 degrees to the plane okay so I'll go to the polygons and switch off the normals back so there is no normal now so this is the polygon sphere and I'm going to freeze it and then we have this uh, object which is uh, having the x y z arrows in color in proper color okay so red color arrow is facing in the x axis green is facing on the y blue is facing on the z axis so <clears throat> this is the parent object and this is the child object so sequence of selection is really important so the ball and in the uh, model so I have created this model for you to understand uh, the orientation so if you could see in the normal constraint there is something really important that is aim vector up vector and uh, we have options for controlling the up vector here so I have discussed uh, all these types in my aim constraint video okay so I will be sharing that link in the description please check it out and then what I have ra uh, got right now is uh, the default settings but I'm going to is it this default no so I'm going to change this to default so the the blue color arrow is the z-axis so I'm going to select the z-axis value to 1 and switch off the x-axis and then we have up vector which is going to be the y and then I'm going to just click this okay and then um, you see nothing is really happening but let me try and move it and you should able to see when I am moving this object always the blue color arrow is going outside okay to the sphere it's perpendicular like that okay so if I am generally moving the Y is basically facing up but when I generally come here again it's trying to face up if not uh, the Y should face down here which is not happening uh, because in the constraint I have uh, chosen this uh, vector type here okay so uh, it is basically used uh, let's say if you are working on something like uh, let's say a satellite around the object and you want always the orientation should be facing towards that you can do that however the y up is really uh, creating a problem so in that case you need to explore all that options here okay so uh, we have a vector so let me choose the scene up so uh, what is that actually means is you told the y axis of the object should always see see what I, uh, the y axis of the object should see the scene up now what is the scene up here in Maya you can generally choose the scene up or the up axis as y 
or up axis as z okay so i've uh, if i'm choosing this here then my uh, objects up axis is going to be always y y uh, i mean this object will see the upside of the object you should see that okay now i'm going to choose uh, to the object up and uh, world up object we have here so what that actually does is let me duplicate this okay i'm going to duplicate that i'm going to name this as object up and then i'm going to freeze it now let me select both of them and this object name what we have here i'm going to copy that name and paste it here okay so world up object is basically object up let me select that and when i'm going to move it you should be able to see there is some sort of control here but let me move this object so wherever this object is there the y is going to see that side only okay so when i'm moving it up uh, wherever this object is there the normal will face that side uh, sorry not normal the y axis which i've told this is going to be the up axis okay and uh, we have uh, object rotation up again uh, world up vector is y okay what that actually means and what is this going to do now let's see so let me apply it now when i move it up okay if i'm just moving anywhere this object is going to drive the the orientation so if i'm ro rotating this object here okay here when i'm rotating this it's not affecting because the z is controlled by the normal but here i can generally twist it if you could see there okay so the rotation of the object is really controlling this so let me select these two objects and then go to the normal constraint okay then we have vector again it is y axis you told scene up which is basically y axis on the up but when i say up vector is y then the arrow will see upside if not you can say the up vector should always see the z axis which i am not going to okay uh, which i'm going to pick it like that and then when i move it always this is going to uh, see the z axis here okay the z axis is this side always it will see the z but again somewhere when these two axes are controlled oddly then things will go unpredictable okay that's uh, the aim constraint uh, sorry normal constraint so uh, you can freely move this object but this blue color arrow is going to stay uh, perpendicular to the face which is coming to its close i mean if i'm placing here it is going to respect that face if i'm going to move it is going to respect that face so it's like that now uh, let me choose the other uh, geometry type other constraint type that is going to be uh, the geometry constraint okay so geometry constraint makes the object to stick with the surface and when i move it it will always stay with the surface now this is something really nice but here there is a orientation problem then that is where you can use a combination of this one so i'm going to choose the normal uh, constraint with y axis up so when i'm going to move this uh, the surface is already stuck to the geometry but also it is going to orient you could able to see that it's it's rotating itself let's say if i delete that and then if i move it it's not rotating there you should be able to see the arrow is not uh, rotating at all now i have got a scene here let me select them hide it there and then bring this scene and we have this drop model and then we have this surface model so i'm going to select this both of them and i'm going to apply a geometry constraint so here we got the drop and i'm going to move it uh, to the surface there but if i go to the side view 
and when I generally let's say move it to the nose and when I move it you should be able to see the drop is not taking the orientation of the surface there now this is where I'm going to use this I'm going to select the model and then I'm going to apply the normal constraint there now you should be able to see that surface is going to take the orientation see the drop now it's changing the orientation according to the surface so if you want to animate anything on the surface I would say so use this uh, geometry constraint and normal constraint at the same time and then animate the drops uh, or any objects which is going to stick uh, the surface